Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Say listen, um, I know I usually do just ride videos and I'm probably still primarily going to do that. I've got a lot of new videos coming out pretty soon. I did a lot of filming this fall in the beautiful Black Hills. Did a lot of cool rides with some, with some different organizations. I'm going to put those videos up pretty soon too, so stay tuned for those. But it is winter time and now's the time to kind of do some things to the bike if you want to do that. I do want to do a few things to the Road King. Um, I apologize for kind of where we're at. My usual backdrop is not available because it's six below zero outside and currently snowing. And today is the day I want to do this, so we should be able to get this done pretty well, and I'll be able to show you close-ups of kind of what we're doing. Today we're going to do an air cleaner kit from DK Customs. Right here, I got this whole box of goodies in the mail today, and the kit comes. All the separate components and the instructions are in this box with each kit. Um, depending on which motorcycle you buy it for, they make them for all different kinds of bikes and all the different models of Harley Davidson. So just be sure and read the instructions. I'll kind of go over kind of what they say to do for this particular kit on this particular motorcycle, but yours may be different. And <clears throat> the first thing we're going to probably do is clean the throttle body. The main reason why I wanted to do this is because I want to start venting the crate case externally. Harley-Davidson vents the crate case for these motors back into the throttle body which gums up the throttle body, gives you idle control problems and basically puts a lot of unburnt um, byproducts of combustion into the intake which puts it in the combustion chamber and there's all kinds of different photographs, especially on DK Customs website, of what your pistons look like after a while. And so it's not the best situation to do that. They offer a great external breather kit. They offer several actually. And they also offer air cleaner kits. And I kind of got the whole shebang. And so we're going to install that on this motorcycle mainly to get rid of the fact that this motor breathes into the intake, which you know, it causes a whole host of problems. So, with that said, let's kind of get rolling on this and uh, we'll get her installed and we'll kind of show you how to do it. So first thing we got to do is kind of start getting rid of all the stock components here. And I'm going to reuse this cover and I'll sh show you how we're going to do that too. So go ahead and remove all your stock components and your stock air cleaner. Now when you pull your cover off and you see there's a whole bunch of gunk in here, move your throttle and check the seal for your 
butterfly valve and your idle control valve which is right up in here a lot of times that stuff gets I think that's what that's called idle control valve anyways if you see a bunch of gunk in here built up from your bike breathing into your throttle body be sure and clean that out with carb cleaner before you go through this whole process okay so this is a support bracket that you get with the kit and as you can see it's designed to give support to the throttle body for the air cleaner and it attaches to the two head breather bolts here and here it comes with a gasket already installed the gasket for this side will come with the air cleaner itself and you just want to set it on there and check to see if the two arms are resting against the head in my case it's not there's a little space there so DK custom says just to find a couple of washers if you can see them right there the right thickness to fit in there and in my case you know I've got a lot of washers laying around most people do and just find a couple that will work <clears throat> to take up that take up that gap okay I've got the support bracket just kinda hanging here um, with the old breather bolt while we kinda get the other one in place at this time I need to put on the the, the banjo bolts for the external breather system I've decided to put my breather below the air cleaner because it won't fit above the air cleaner so we're going to put a little thread locker on the head bolt and this is going to be a little fiddly because there's a lot of parts here but basically what you have to do is put this thrust washer on and then the banjo fitting onto that thrust washer then this washer goes on the other side of the banjo fitting okay now we have our washer to take up space we'll kind of put all this through like I said it's a little fiddly here and we'll screw this into the head just get it finger tight we'll kind of angle that out just a little bit so there's all the pieces the banjo bolt through the banjo fitting and each thrust washer then the support bracket and then the washer I needed to take up space to make sure it sat flush and we'll just do the other side kind of just push this push on this see if I can get it to stay there oh, I get all these other parts kind of lined up here need about four hands for this operation here but not too bad okay so now they're just hand tight need to double check that we've got 
support lined up on the throttle body exactly where we want it. Okay. So they're going to be a little loose right now. Now we're going to take the actual air cleaner bracket and we're going to mount it just like that. Okay, so now we're putting on the standoff bolts that go into the air cleaner bracket. Got it kind of just sitting there right now. A little thread locker on these. And there's another supplied bracket that goes in between the support bracket and the air cleaner bracket, or gasket. Excuse me. careful threading these in. Make sure they go into the threads correctly. And nothing's tight yet. Okay, so we've got the standoffs installed, and they're just a, just a bit beyond finger tight. And there's an inch-pound torque rating on these, and I don't have an inch-pound torque wrench, and most people don't. And that's okay. Basically, just get them snug. Pay attention to how tight they were when you took the stock air cleaner, the stock ones off. But 40 to 60 inch pounds isn't much, so just be really careful and don't strip that out because bad things will happen if, if you do that. So we'll let these sit for a couple of minutes. I'll re snug. I may do it one more time after these, all these gaskets crush down a little bit, and then we can move on to tightening these down. Okay, so we've got our banjo bolts installed for our crankcrase breather kit and the hoses are attached. We still have to trim them to fit for the air filter. I didn't have enough room to put the air filter on the top of my breather because I'm going to use the stock breather cover. Um, it's just a model of the bike so I have to put it down here. And we'll do that they supply either these little um, hose clamps that you can put on or they supplied zip ties. I want to use a zip tie just because they're black and you can't see them. And these were seemed a little clunky right there to me. And also the washers for the banjo bolts, the tolerance to get the hose up onto the banjo fitting, there's not a lot of clearance between that banjo nipple and the support bracket and there really isn't enough room to get this band clamp in there I'm not sure exactly why that turned out to be that way but the zip tie can go all the way on the very top of the hose and to tell you the truth these are so tight against that after tightening these banjo bolts they're so tight against that support bracket those hoses aren't going to come off Anyway, but the zip ties will do the trick. And they said you can use either the zip ties or these hose clamps, and they'll send them both to you. So now we just need to trim the hoses to fit and get the air cleaner or the, the breather filter installed, and then we can put the air cleaner on. Okay, so we've got the filter routed down here. It's routed in a spot where 
it's not going to rattle against anything or hit anything. And again, I kind of wanted to use the zip ties because they blend right in and you won't be able to see them. The nipples on this filter are pretty long and so I don't think they're going to come off. If they do come off then the worst thing it's going to do is it's going to drip a little oil on my motor and I'll wash it off and install the band clamps. But we route them to the back side here and give them a good snug. Get them nipped off. And they blend right in. It looks pretty nice. So now we can install the actual air cleaner element itself. Get the holes lined up. And then the kit, of course, they supply you the little plenty of little nuts that you need. Get a few of them out here. Looks like we only need three of them in this case in this application. Of course they all get a little bit of thread locker. And this is kind of important because in the stock situation the air clear covers held on by the longer bolts that actually go into the throttle body which are the standoffs in this application uh, so it's kind of important to make sure that these little guys don't come loose so in this case we do have to use this foam gasket you may not to in your case but since I'm reusing my stock air cleaner cover I do need this to seal against it. So we're going to put it on. And so when you have your stock air cleaner cover, this gasket is not going to ride in this groove because it's actually on a bevel. It's actually going to ride on this outside ring and it's going to hit up against this shoulder top and bottom. And so you can use your stock cover on this kit and you can see it'll just sit there by itself because it's on that shoulder so if I like my stock football cover and I like that I can run it with this kit okay there you have it kind of a simple deal um, Short and sweet, not much to it, pretty simple thing, any, any of you guys can do this, the instructions that they send with these kits are pretty good, and if you have a little bit of mechanical ability at all and can turn a wrench whatsoever, you can, you can handle this. You just got to make sure you pay attention to the torque specs and make sure you pay attention how everything goes together. If you do that, it should be just fine. So grab yourself a kit and do it. It's pretty simple. They're not too expensive and I think it's by far the, one of the best things you can do for your bike. Like I told you earlier I've got a few other things I'm going to do to this bike. I'll go ahead and film those as well. It's all pretty simple stuff. I've got one repair I've got to do that's probably a pretty common repair that a lot of you may have to do if you've ever replaced your handlebars. So stay tuned for those. They should be coming up in a little while and um, you know, we're just getting ready to, to go right. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.